front side, back side. Let's end this pointless battle. In this video, we will sort out the names of tracks that are often mixed up. However, my one-sided explanations don't mean anything. So, I have created a platform where everyone can vote for their opinions. Please give it a try using the link in the description. You're watching Why the Trek, please subscribe. Let's start with the simplest 180s in the main stance. I am regular, so my left foot is in front. If you are goofy, please switch left and right. Pop the tail with your back foot and open your body so that your body faces the direction of travel. Then, you have a front side 180. And if you spin so that your back faces the direction of the travel, it is a backside 180. Spinning the board in the same direction as the backside 180 is the backside pop shove it. Conversely, if you spin the board in the same direction as the frontside 180, it is a frontside pop shove it. So far, so peaceful. Next, let's take a look at Nolly. Pop the nose and open your body to the direction you are going. This is Noli frontside 180. As your body spins in the same direction as the frontside 180 in the main stance. If you spin so that your back faces the direction of the travel, it is a Noli backside 180. The same concept as the body rotation applies to the shove it. Spinning the board in the same direction as the no leap backside 180 results in a no leap backside pop shove it. And of course, spinning the board in the same direction as the no leap frontside 180 is a no leap frontside pop shove it. Here are some points that we need to clarify. In the main stance backside spin, for example, you spin by putting the popping foot backward. Whereas in a no leap backside spin, you spin by pushing the popping foot forward. Please note, the name of the trick is determined by the direction in which the board and body spin. So, how you use your body does not directly determine its name. It's getting a little cloudy, but we have a long way to go. Let's move on to the next step, fakey. First, note that Fakey is the main stance, with the only difference in the direction of the travel. Think of Rock to Fakey. You don't change your foot placement, but only the direction of the travel changes. Because of this nature, Fakey tricks names are determined differently. Let's start with 180s. Imagine you are in the main stance, but rolling backward. Turn the body as you open it in the main stance, and then you do a fakey frontside 180. Now you may think, if I spin so that my back faces the direction of the travel, it must be backside. But again, fakey is your main stance with the only difference in the direction of the travel. So, if the name of a trick where you spin contact clockwise in your main stance is frontside, it is also frontside in fakey if you rotate in the same direction. The same logic applies to a fakey backside 180. If, in the main stance, closing your body or spinning it clockwise is backside, spinning it in the same direction is also backside in fakey. Pop shove it's are the same. If you spin the board in the same direction as the main stance backside pop shove it, it is a fakey backside pop shove it. If you spin the board in the direction of the main stance frontside pop shove it, it becomes a fakey frontside pop shove it. Please allow me to clarify the difference between Noli and fakey again. For example, in a Noli backside pop shove it, you spin the board by pushing the nose forward. But in a fakey backside pop shove it, you spin the board by putting the tail backward. Please note, the names are determined by the directions in which the board spins, not by how you use your body. It's getting complicated, but we must move on. Let's consider the switch stance. In switch, the trick's names become completely opposite of the main stance. If you pop the tail in the switch stance and spin your body in the open or clockwise direction, you have a switch frontside 180. 
Conversely, if you close your body, that's a switch backside 180. The same applies to Bob Shavitz, both backside and frontside. And this is not the end of the story, let's dig even deeper. In grind tricks, tricks names are determined not by the direction of the spin, but by the location of obstacles. If the object is on the heel side of the body, it is called the backside. Although the body spins in the frontside 1D direction, the direction of the spin itself does not affect the trick's name. Conversely, if the object is in front of the body, it is frontside. How about transitions? Tricks or turns are called backside if the transition is on the heel side of the body, and vice versa. However, in tricks such as a hand plant, where you write up a transition straight, tricks names tend to be determined by the direction of the body spin. So a middle flip should be frontside, and so is this type of a foot plant. We're almost there, but there is bad news. Even more different concepts come into play for turns and power slides. A turn to the heel side is backside, and the other is frontside. In a transition, a turn to change the direction of travel forward is a backside turn, as it is the location of the transition that determines the name. In contrast, on flat ground, it is the frontside turn as you change the direction of the travel to your toe side, in other words, frontside. And finally, in the case of power slice, when you slide forward, it is a frontside power slide and vice versa. And I think we've covered everything. Please let me know if you find any mistake. Also, please don't forget to go to the website and vote your opinions. Let's build a collective knowledge base so we don't get confused anymore. And that's all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.